Hi everyone and welcome to a series of videos for people interested in getting hands-on with Data Cloud. My name is Dave Norris and I'm a developer advocate at Salesforce and together we can look at some of the capabilities. Now if you've been watching the playlist up until now, you'll know that we've been using a fictitious hotel chain called Coral Cloud Resorts to help cement some of the use cases. And we've already met three of their goals. We linked key data from Amazon S3 to Salesforce. We then looked for some key metrics like lifetime value for those guests. And then finally, we surfaced some of that key data into Salesforce using enrichments. And what we wanna do in the next few videos is build on those goals. And again, my recommendation is always to start with a small tangible use case, and that's what we're gonna do. So let's take a look at two new goals that Coral Cloud Resorts has. The first new goal that Coral Cloud Resorts has is the ability to track website engagement. Things like what are people clicking on in the website? Are they clicking on spa days or adventure weekends? And even the bookings they're making. This is gonna to have to comply with any regulations around consent. It's gonna to need to be fast in near real time. We want it to be technology agnostic because Coral Cloud Resort already have a website. And it needs to be able to ingest data at scale because there's going to be a lot of activity. The second goal is the marketing team have expressed an interest in being able to personalize images and offers so that they can elevate the experience for people interacting with the brand online. And the key requirement here is to minimize change to the existing website. So we want that to be engagement based. So depending on what someone's doing in the website, I might want to show different images and offers. And those rules need to be configurable. And we're talking about a very small use case here, but we want the framework to be extensible as we move into the future so we can build upon it. So let's take a look at their existing systems landscape to see what applications we have to work with. A third party property management system takes care of room availability and experiences for each hotel around the world. And that data feeds their website. And the website provides the capability to search for rooms, the experiences at each resort, and to ultimately make a booking. The issue is that the interactions a potential guest has on the website is not captured currently. And that means that Coral Cloud don't have the ability to dive into what hotel assets are most popular on the website. So the marketing team have been tasked with building a profile for those guests that opt in for a more pro personal experience based on what they're actually clicking on their website. Ultimately, they want the website to feel personal and be able to make tailored offers to each guest. So we're already using Data Cloud from the first few videos. So let's explore how Data Cloud fits into this architecture by moving forward into the future state systems landscape. With Data Cloud, we can use some of the capabilities that we've already talked about in previous videos. Because we want to capture people browsing the website and they are individuals, just like we've talked about before. And we want to unify them to a single guest profile at Coral Cloud Resorts. And we already have a great foundation to do that. Now for the configurable rules, they're going to drive the dynamic assets presented to the website. We're going to use Salesforce personalization. We don't have requirements for other marketing cloud functions at the moment, so this module is a really good fit. Now how the website communicates with Data Cloud and Salesforce personalization is through the Web Interactions SDK. So now we have the architecture documented. Let's go back and look at the two new goals that Coral Cloud Resorts have and then map them to Data Cloud capabilities. The first goal was to track website engagement. To do that, we can use data streams, data mapping, identity resolution, and the web interactions SDK to allow us to push information into data cloud. To personalize images and offers, we can use data graphs, personalization, and the web interactions SDK. In this time, what we're doing is we're fetching those dynamic assets from Salesforce personalization to display them on the website. So we're in pretty good shape. We have a future state architecture and we've mapped goals to data cloud capabilities. But what I wanna do is zoom all the way out to 100,000 feet, just like we did in the first video, to have a look at the data cloud capabilities we're using for this use case 
because I think it's really going to help you set context of which features we're using in Data Cloud. This is Data Cloud at 100,000 feet. We're going to use the Web Interaction SDK to ingest the engagement data from Coral Cloud website into Data Cloud. We'll create data lake objects and we're going to map those into data model objects. And those objects are already in the customer 360 data model. We'll just be selecting the ones we want to use. That's going to form the backbone of the data we're going to use. And we can explore it using Data Explorer or query using Query Editor. We're going to map the people that have been browsing Coral Cloud's website to a single guest profile at Coral Cloud. And we're going to use the existing identity resolution rule set that we created in earlier videos. Once we have that data, we can now enrich it. And in this use case, we're going to use data graphs. And then finally, we're going to act on the data. Now, in this case, we're going to use personalization. And again, we'll use the web interaction SDK in order to fetch those dynamic digital assets from personalization to display in our website. And that's it for this video. We've identified a couple of new goals that Coral Cloud Resorts have, namely to capture engagement data from their website and then to dynamically change the content based on interactions that are happening. We've identified the capabilities that we need to meet those goals. And in the next few videos, we'll be building that out together. So if you like this video, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Salesforce Developer YouTube channel for more content like this one.